Hey everybody, it's Kay, and I have my friend Allie with me because it is her first time ever flying in a small airplane like Lil Red. We're going to San Antonio Riverwalk. We'll see you in the sky. Here we go. Clear prep. Okay, put the microphone pretty close to your mouth. Remember I told you you're gonna get lipstick all over the headset? Uh -huh. That's okay, don't worry. That looks good to me. Does it feel like this in the air? No. It feels worse? No. Or it, right now we're at a very low RPM setting, so the more power that I input, see how it gets a little bit more relaxed? Yeah. Can you hear that? Might seem like a silly question, but I don't want you to be like, who are you talking to halfway through the flight? But they don't hear us. Not yet, no. We have to hold down this button. Good afternoon, Sugarland Ground, Cherokee 7738 November. I'd like to pick up IFR 2 Sierra Sierra Foxtrot, please. Cherokee 773 November Sugarland Ground, uh, cleared to Sierra Sierra Fox Red Airport via Industry 1 departure. Industry marks one arrival to Stinson. Climb 18 2000, expect 6,010 minutes after. Departure 123.8, squawk 4636. Okay, clear to Stinson Municipal via Industry 1 departure, Industry Marks 1, and then direct to Stinson. Climb maintain 2,000, expect 6,000 within 10 minutes. Frequency 123.8, squawk 4636 for 7738 November. 738 November, read back, correct, advise, ready taxi. I'll advise, 7738 November, thanks. And ground, Cherokee 7738 November, just verifying, are we using 35 today? Cherokee 38 November, from the runway 35 and use current wind, calm. Roger, appreciate it, 7738 November. Ooh, this is the quietest I've ever heard Ali be. <laughs> to be honest, I'm so nervous. You're gonna be fine. This is gonna be really fun, I promise. All right, this is where you are going to make your first radio call. We're gonna do a quick intro, okay? Wait, wait, are you gonna tell me what to do? Yeah. Here's what I want you to say. So we are Cherokee 7738 November. So you're going to hold your button down whenever you're ready. And you're gonna say, Sugarland Ground, Cherokee 7738 November the numbers ready to taxi okay so say it so sugarland ground cherokee 7738 november we are ready to taxi is that what you said yep with the numbers cherokee 7738 november we're ready to fly <laughs> we're ready to taxi <laughs> okay what are okay. you saying sugarland ground cherokee 7738 november we are ready to taxi with the numbers perfect nailed it okay you got this you're ready okay okay Ready? Sugarland ground first. Okay. Does I do I have to wait to like beeps or anything, or just <laughs> no. press and hold, start talking? Yes. Okay. Sugarland ground, Cherokee seven seven three eight November. We are ready to taxi with the numbers. Next seven seven three eight November, Sugarland ground, runway three five, taxi via Foxtrot Alpha. Say taxi via Foxtrot Alpha three five. Taxi via Foxtrot Alpha three five. Seven seven three eight November. 773 in November. Perfect. Excellent. He basically told me he loved me. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I, I love that that's what you got out of <laughs> Okay, watch your knees, arms, hands, legs, all that things because I'm going to be moving this back and forth. Oh, baby. Oh, wow. <laughs> she really gets out there. <laughs> okay, so did you see how I closed the door? Yep. Pull Correct. Exactly. If for whatever reason we do have to make an emergency landing, as we get close to the ground, you are going to be prepared to open up this door. You always unlatch this first, then you're going to pull this handle all the way down and push the door out. Latch down, out. Exactly. Any other emergency that we handle, if I ask you to do something and you need clarification, please do not be afraid to ask. The biggest thing that I will tell you is if we are in an emergency situation, no non-essential conversation. Okay? I am. All right. Ready? Problem is in um, high pressure situations, I usually get my mouth. <laughs> That's okay. Worst case scenario, I can mute you if I need to. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's Kay. We're in the airplane. I've got my friend Allie, and today is Saturday. <laughs> Our first time in a small airplane. <laughs> also that. <laughs> also that. How do you feel? Nervous? Excited? Mostly nervous. <laughs> She's gonna do fine. She's already made a few radio calls. She's killing it. 
It is currently 79 degrees outside and that temperature is rising rapidly. We filed for 6,000 feet and we are on our way to San Antonio to have dinner at Riverwalk. So we'll see you up in the sky soon. Here we go. Sugarland Tower, Cherokee 7738 November, holding short 35, ready for departure. 7738 November, Sugarland Tower, hold short, awaiting IFR release. Hold short, 7738 November. For fly runway heading, maintain 2000, runway 35, clear for takeoff. Fly runway heading, maintain 2000, 35, cleared for takeoff, 7738 November, thanks. Yes, okay, everything looks good there. Cherokee 12 Mike, 1 April, squawk 4530. Finals clear, runway's clear. Got a few birds that we'll keep an eye out for. Runway heading is bugged, route is in, frequencies are set. Wheels to the floor in full power. Airspeed's alive, all gauges in the green. All right, are you ready? I'll take that as a yes. I'm actually gonna watch this bird here. Oh! You got him so easy! <laughs> you didn't expect that? Oh I my think gosh! <laughs> See, it's not that bad, huh? Whoa! Oh, she's silent. <laughs> Only because I am thoroughly impressed. Good! Oh! <laughs> I don't like that! I'm trying to keep my mouth shut during this because I know she's focused. You're fine. <laughs> All right. We have quite a bit of wind, so we're going to turn this way. Just a tad. All gauges in the green, electric fuel pump off, landing light off, mixture is still full rich. There we go. Three November, uh, contact Houston departure. Have a safe flight. Good day. Good talking to you again. <laughs> have a good day. Over to departure. I'll talk to you again soon. 773 November. Thanks. Thousand feet to go, switching to departure frequency. Go ahead. Point to Mike is autopilot on, heading mode active, and continuing that climb at about a hundred. How are you feeling? You doing okay? <laughs> Good. I'm laughing because whenever you watch this video back, there's a lot more facial expressions that I'm catching myself doing that I'm not talking. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm excited to see him. November 3-8, the Whiskey, are you on? Was that for 7-7-3-8, November? November 7-7-3-8, November, Houston departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 4,000, turn left heading 280. 4,000 left heading 280, 7-7-3-8, November. Once we get up above 4,000 feet, it should be smooth again. Okay. It's just because of how hot it is. Sorry. No, it's okay. Exactly what I was trying to prevent. <laughs> you're navigating this extremely well. Like, you're so, like, smooth with it. Oh, thank like, you. I feel like it's interesting. Is it a bad time to talk right now? No, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> I love that you asked, though. Thank you. I'll tell you. I'll put my hand up if I need to hear something. You're good. Yeah. Put, put me on mute. <laughs> I'll just be yapping over here. <laughs> Asking all these questions. Um, yeah, like, it's interesting watching, because I can kind of see, like, how you're steering, right? Because in front of me. November and it's like, 3, 8, November, I feel like I'm I... I maintain 5,000. So I maintain 5,000, 7, 7, 3, 8, November. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, Captain. Uh, yes, Captain. You're just, like, navigating it well. I mean, I don't know anything about flying, but looks like you're doing incredible. Well, I appreciate that. Thank November, you very much. November 3, 8, November, proceed, direct mark. Direct mark, 773 in November, thank you. Six, Mike, Mike, that saves us some time. Sweet. So quick check-in, our cylinder head temperature is 385, all gauges are in the green. We're currently burning about 10 and a half gallons of fuel at RPM 2400. Level at 5,000 feet, which is looking good. Temperature dropped to 50 degrees, so it's going to stay nice and cool in the cockpit uh, for us. <laughs> we like that. However, I am going to lean it out just a little bit to save on some of that fuel now that we are looking good. It really just blows my mind that humans thought of the idea of flying. I know, right? It's pretty they, cool, though. And a long time ago, like when there wasn't technology. I know. I can read all this stuff. So, how do you feel? A lot better than I thought I was going to. Okay, good. <laughs> See, it's almost anticlimactic. You know, you're scared of, like, 
the actual takeoff itself, not scared. You're more nervous, anxious a little bit. And then once you do it, you're like, oh, that's it? Yeah, like yeah. you go off the ground so fast. Yeah. And not like speed-wise, but like we were, uh, what felt like on the runway for like 10 feet, and then you could feel the lift. And I was like, wait, why are we hurling at 500 miles per hour in like a United flight just to be like, it's <laughs> funny. Flight maintains 6,773 in November, thanks. I guess that's a much... I seriously think that's hilarious. Why do you think I looked at you and I said, are you ready? Because it was time to go. <laughs> yeah. Just wanted to make sure you were prepared, especially with it being your first flight in a small airplane. So once we get up to 6,000 feet and we get away from like the busier airspace where we are right now, and the frequency gets a little less busy too, I will disable autopilot and that'll be your opportunity to fly a little bit. We won't be able to make any twists and turns right now because we are on an instrument flight plan, so you're really just going to try to focus on holding altitude as best you can, and I will walk you through all of that, don't worry. You'll be fine. And if you have fun, then we can start doing VFR flying together, which stands for Visual Flight Rules, where we can still talk to air traffic control if we want to, but we'll kind of be doing our own thing at that point. Does that make sense? Huh? So. She's like, information overload, okay? I just say yes, ma'am. Yes, Captain. Bye -bye. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we're going to leave this out again, so I want you to watch. So I'm pulling the throttle down until our RPMs, which is right here, get down to 2600. So right about, oh, two, there we go. Okay, right about there. See that? Now, if you look here where gallons per hour is, we're burning 13 and a half gallons per hour. That's a lot more than a second ago. Yeah, we don't want to burn that much. So we're going to pull this knob down until the engine starts to run a little bit rough. And then we're going to increase it. So give me your hand. You're going to do it. You'll be fine. Okay, ready? It's like a, it's like a lever or yep. like a knob. You're just going to pull it down. Just do it nice and slow, and I'm going to tell you when to stop. You can go a little faster. Okay. Keep going. Okay. So you're going to see this continue to drop. And our RPMs are rising, so I'm just going to pull a little bit more of that power out here and keep going. It got a little bumpy, so it's okay. Keep going. <laughs> yep. Don't stop. Number 60, Bravo, turn 10 degrees left. Okay, that looks good. Now I want you to push it forward a little bit. Like, uh, like back where I was going? Yep, exactly. November 87 Zulu, how much further on that heading? Did it move? <laughs> We went from 13 and a half down to about nine and a half. Oh, okay. So we're gonna save four gallons of fuel per hour just by doing that one change. That is so interesting. Okay, 124.22. 124.22, have a good one, three in November. Okay. What did they just tell you? So we are switching frequencies to talk to a different tower. So I'm gonna put that in this frequency here. And this is where you're gonna make another radio call. Okay, <laughs> you're excited, you're fine. So all you're going to say is approach Cherokee 773 November, checking in 6000. So, approach. I just blacked out. <laughs> you're fine. Okay. Approach. What confuses me because I look at it is N. I want to say November because that's the other You N. can. You can totally, if that makes it easier for you, you can totally say November 7738 November. If that's easier for you, that's totally fine. Then why do you say Cherokee? So we are a Piper Cherokee 180, so it's just identifying the type of aircraft that we're flying. So you do still want to say Cherokee, but if you also want to say November 7738 November, you can. It's okay. totally up to you. So approaching, approach? Approach. Approach Cherokee 7738 November. 6,000? Yep. Roger. You don't have to say that. <laughs> if you ever get the point to say Roger, I will let you do it, I promise. Deal? Yeah. Okay, so what are you going to say? Approach Cherokee 7738 November. Roger, and you're doing 6,000. There you go. That's Am I missing perfect. a word? Uh, huh? Am I missing a word? You can, but that's that works, so I'm good with that. You're giving him all of the information that he needs. Okay? Okay, so like right now? Even though they're talking? Just wait until he doesn't have any communications. So, so you can go now. Nope. Now you can't. Approach or approaching? Approach. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> You're already killing it, so don't be nervous. You got this. You gotta be quick on the draw. Yeah. Spicy out here. <laughs> Spicy out here. I love it. Well, this is a way busier frequency. Let's go back to the other one. 
Can we do that? No. <laughs> oh, don't we have to talk to this guy? <laughs> we do, yeah. Water tower is looking. November 773 in November, he's in a pressure here. Affirmative 773 in November, checking in 6000. 773 in November, thank you. Easter with altimeter 3014. 3014, 773 in November. I'll let you do the next one. He asked a question this time, I'm sorry. No, I figured I was taking too long practicing. No, 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 it wasn't your fault at all. It's because he was busy, but he wanted to make sure we were on the right frequency. Yeah, yeah. So you will do the next one, and it'll be the exact same thing. Approach Cherokee 773 in November, and then whatever altitude we're at, realistically 6,000. Hello. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Do you want me to see if we can climb? Um. Is it too bumpy for you? Yeah. It's totally cool. Well, if it's bumpy, does it stay bumpy, or is, is can there be just like little pockets of bump? There can be pockets, but it also just might be this full altitude. So it's totally up to you. I mean, maybe, but is that a lot of work? No. You have to tell them? Yes. No. But if it makes you more comfortable, that's fine. It's not bad. Okay. If it starts to get on your nerves or whatever, or it makes you uncomfortable in any way, we can always try to climb. Anytime I do an audible <laughs> response, you know that was a pretty good rock. Anytime I have a silent response, that's how you know I'm nervous. <laughs> you ever jump on a treadmill? A treadmill. <laughs> I guess the gym is on my mind. You ever jump on a trampoline for like a couple hours? <laughs> the fact that you were trying to say trampoline is a tra trampoline. I mean the other way around. I, I don't know. I don't know. But you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And you like finally get off the trampoline and you're chilling and you still feel like kind of bouncing? Honestly, no, because okay. I thought you were going to use the, the <laughs> metaphor of a boat. And you went with your Oh, okay, wait, that's, that works too. Well, I've only been on a boat a few times. Give me more time. I'll go buy a boat and then and then we can connect on that. <laughs> Perfect. But anyways, that, it feels the same. See, see how it went calm? Because we hit a couple of big pockets and now we're in just very calm air. Now we're cruising. Okay, so we'll whisper so that we don't make Mother Nature mad. We're going to stay at 6,000 as long as it stays relative like this. So you haven't noticed, I'm going to point it out to you, and now you probably will. Our time has not changed from one hour and 15 minutes for like five minutes now. I thought so, because whenever you said that a second ago, I was like, has it really not been that long? Yeah. So wow. what I'm going to do to fix that is since we're in a little bit calmer weather right now, I'm going to increase those RPMs to 2650 because we have plenty of fuel on board for the flight. Okay. So I did top off the tanks. We have five hours worth of fuel on board for today's flight, 25 and 25, which is perfect. And we've only burned five gallons, which is roughly 30 minutes. And look, see how that dropped? Oh, wow. This is crazy. All the little people. All the little people. What's your favorite part about being up in the air? My favorite part, probably the freedom. Just because, you know, I despise driving with an absolute passion because of being people who cut you off and run stoplights and stop signs and all that stuff. And I don't really have that problem here. <laughs> you know, I still get to travel and I still get to go and do all of the things and see destinations and meet new people and try new experiences. But I get to do it above all of that BS traffic that's down below. Yeah. So I'd say definitely the freedom aspect. That makes the world feel really big up here. Oh, see, I think it what? makes it feel small. Oh. Because right now we have technically 10 statute miles of visibility, so when we look out, we should be able to see 10 miles, basically. Oh. But, I mean, if you really look out, it's a beautiful day. We can see hundreds of miles out. Wow. I'm getting annoyed again. Stop it. Yeah, I'm not loving that. She's so funny, I was telling her earlier that I was going to have her do some radio calls. She goes, what if I mess up? Then we'll do it again. It's all good. <laughs> this is fine. What really killed me, I don't know if the camera was on at this point, but you're like, who's telling me what to say? And she was like, okay, say with the numbers. And I was like, what? <laughs> like she had already told me the, uh, what is it? Um, 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 the, the radio call? Seven, three, eight, November. Yeah. And so I'm like, I did, I did say that. So we practiced again. She's like, okay, say it with the numbers. And I'm like, Am I missing what you told me? <laughs> you didn't say any numbers other than 7738. Anyways, turns out she wanted to hear the words with the numbers. Do you have to have parachutes? No. 
Is that because we're not high enough? No, the reason why is because in an airplane like this, the best thing for you to do is to try to get it down to the ground, to try to control the airplane as long as you possibly can. Yeah, because realistically you could, like, yeah. it's the easiest, seems easy, I don't know. I mean, I it's relatively easy, so we, the airplane will basically turn into a glider if we lost our engine right now. If you see this ring around the airplane, this is actually our glide ratio. So anything inside of this circle, we can get to. Yeah. And right here how it says private river field? Yep. That's a private airstrip. So if we lost our engine right now, I could try to get us to that airport and get us to land safely. If we lost our engine, we put on parachutes and we jumped out of the airplane, then the airplane will crash. We have no control over where yeah. it goes. So that would just cause harm to anybody. Now yeah, there is... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now there is the Cirrus, which is a really, really cool airplane. It actually does have a parachute that will deploy. I'm going to indicate 6,500. Wow. Interesting, huh? I guess so. that makes sense, though. But I feel like, but at least most stories I've heard where people are parachuting, like, their plane's going into, like, a mountain. Like, there's no other option. Yes. You know? And like, I don't think it would make sense. We're over wherever we are in Texas right now. Uh, oh, the River Columbus. I was going to say, there is Lake something. Lafayette? Fayette? Whatever? Something? Fayetteville. That's what I was looking for. I think they call it Fayetteville. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. Fayetteville. <laughs> Fayetteville. <laughs> if you're from Fayetteville, I apologize for saying the name incorrectly. <laughs> but, yeah, so right now, if we did have an emergency, I would look for an airport to land at. As we get closer to this one, for example, if we had a problem, I could try to get us here. Especially if we didn't lose our engine, but something went wrong. Austin approach 120.8. Search on this one, you 127. Point two to 2722. 127.22, have a nice day, 773, November. Well, okay. All right. What did he say? What was he telling you? Huh? What was he telling you? So he had me switch to another frequency? This is Austin approach. So you're going to say, approach, baby. <laughs> Austin approach, because now we have an actual name for it. But that's right. Maybe don't say the word baby. I mean, yeah, if you're yeah, feeling yeah. flirtatious, no. if it makes you happy. So you're just going to say Austin Approach, Cherokee 773, November 6000. Austin Approach, Cherokee 773, November 6000. Exactly. So get your right finger now. ready. Go. Austin Approach, Cherokee 7738, November 6000. 7738, November, Austin Approach, Austin 7013. 3013, 773, November, thanks. Okay, we're officially under the one hour mark, so quick check in. How you feeling? Good, I feel great. Oh, she's she's hyped. She's like, yeah, let's go. I might just buy a plane. Oh, okay. Buy a faster one. That. We'll take my slow one some places and your faster one. <laughs> what are the little M's with the little eyeballs? <laughs> Mountains. <laughs> oh. You ready? Like, what was that sound? <laughs> I she is myself. nervous. Look at how giddy she is. You got this. All right, so go ahead and put your hands on the control yoke for me. Okay. All right. Ready? Yes. Your flight controls. My controls. You have the flight controls. So let's do a small, teeny tiny turn to the right. And let's pull that control yoke towards you a little bit because you're in a small descent. Push it forward just a tad, just a teeny, teeny, teeny bit. That looks really good. So you see how your yellow lines are just barely above that horizon? Uh-huh. You have a small climb, so oh, just... Oh, oh, oh. Like, you're good, you're good. I don't like that. No, you're totally fine. Here. Do I need to be, like, holding it steady? Like, keeping it balanced? Yes. So that's why I was saying with those three pink lines. So pull back just a little because you're in that descent again. Now turn slightly here to your right. Uh, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Perfect. A little bit more. Holding it. Okay, and now more to the left. Okay. Oh, God. You're good. You are flying around like we're go-karts. <laughs> now pull the control yoke back towards you a little bit more. And let's do another small turn here to the right. Right. Little bit, little bit. All right, my flight controls. Your controls. I have the flight controls. I'm just going to get you back on course Y'all, my pink lines, they're so off. <laughs> You're doing just fine. You're literally turning left. I mean right. <laughs> That's just to get us back on course really quick before ATC's like, what's going on?
We're still staying within our minimums and everything, though, so we're still perfectly fine. All right, so... Keep in mind, I have five years of experience doing this, too, so yeah, you're doing really well. really shows. <laughs> and she was so patient. Like, I wish you could almost screen share with everybody watching, like, the arrows she's talking about, because it's, like, two that are, like, on top of each other. So it looks like one arrow. It does. Which makes a lot of sense when she was describing it to me. Anytime I looked over there when I had the controls, literally, <laughs> like a clock. <laughs> it was not that bad. <laughs> you did really, nice. really well. We'll Thank try you. again here in a little bit. I'm just going to let you relax. I'm going to get the airplane back up and set up and all that good stuff, okay? Yeah, my blood pressure is through the roof. Oh, goodness. <laughs> She's fine. So how did you feel? Did you like it or not at all? Somewhere in between. Okay. I didn't hate it. Did you have fun? I didn't love it. Uh, I didn't love it. It was something I could do without. I think it's just such a surreal feeling to like, especially when your hands are on the, what do you, it's not a steering wheel. What is this called? Control yoke. Control yoke? Like an egg? <laughs> it's spelled differently, but yes, like an egg. <laughs> Control yoke. Um, and like obviously I was turning a little bit too much. It's just hard to tell one, how hard you're turning because I know it's little. And then two, you can see the plane move. And there's something surreal about like, holy crap, I'm 6,000 feet up and I'm in full control of this metal bullet going in the sky. Okay, I so like that the was reference. That's okay, but not a bad way. I really want to tell you, you were doing pretty well with holding your altitude. Once you got into a little bit steeper of a turn, though, I think just you would, you'd stop applying that back pressure. So one thing that I always did when I was an instructor is I didn't introduce what we call trim until you had positive control of the airplane. Electric trim, which is right here on my control yoke, there's also a trim wheel in between the two seats. Oh. If you move this back a little bit, it can actually help you with that pressure that you feel when you pull that control yoke back to make it more comfortable and easier to hold altitude. That's a little overwhelming for somebody who's just learning how this all works. Yeah. But because you were having difficulty holding that altitude, what you could have done was apply a little bit of trim had I told you about it. Which yeah, yeah. obviously I didn't because I just wanted you to fly and have fun. It was fun. I did have fun. I don't you think I didn't. Because I did. Okay. Not enough fun to do it again? Or just I'd something you want to process for a little bit? <laughs> I need to think about it. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. You did well, though. And it was Thank really you. fun. And I the airplane you stayed just safe. just keep saying that. Because I, <laughs> I really didn't notice how bad it was until whenever you took the controls back. And we were literally turning a corner. <laughs> That was not that much of a turn. You cracked me up. I guess why I would feel that though, because yeah. you don't, you didn't make me feel like I made that happen. I only noticed it happened once you yeah. corrected it. So. And I was watching it too. And the only thing is, is because we're on an instrument flight plan, I have to give, like, I can't let you give, I can't give you as much good gracious English. I can't give you as much leeway as I could if we were just doing our own thing because air traffic control. Like, if we were, see how we came off That's of what I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I wish our friends could see this. I'll show them. They, they won't. won't. <laughs> I won't show them. You don't get to see. I will tell you, people can actually see this if they want to, though. Oh, well, so. Join in on the fun, and everybody's going to be like, never fly. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> So, well done. I don't want you to be discouraged because you did very, very well. That's your first time flying an airplane. And not her last. Crazy, actually. She, she may not know it, but not her last. Also, what's weird is I feel like you fly a lot on feeling. Because it's not like, like in a car, you're like, obviously the road is right in front of you. But it, there's no, there's no like reference point when you're in the air. You're just like. It. So, that's an interesting concept. So, flying by feeling. I don't think that's literal. You don't want to do, ever. Right. <laughs> you do want to make sure you're watching all of your gauges. So one of the biggest things, you know how I talk to you all the time about flying in clouds? And I love flying in clouds. When you fly in clouds, you have to ignore what your body is telling you. There are yeah. times where you may be flying straight and level, and your body will tell you you're in a turn. So you will turn the opposite direction. San Antonio, Cherokee 7738, November 6000. 
Mic drop. Nailed it. Is he supposed to answer? <laughs> he might be busy. We'll try again in a second. Is that another airport? 738 November, San Antonio approach. Welcome. Uh, Centenary to Quebec is current. Depart March direct. Centen VOR. For 7738 November, we have picked up the weather yet, but you said go ahead and join Marks for what now? Three three November, you're currently direct Marks, correct? Affirmative for 7738 November. Three November after Marks, proceed direct to the Stinson VOR. Let me know when you get the weather. Roger, after Marks, proceed direct to Stinson VOR. 7738 November, we'll let you know when we get it. Okay. Just entire information, Quebec 1953, Zulu 1128, guest 16. Visibility 10, sky clear. Temperature 262.04, altimeter 3013. Visual approach in use landing runway 14. Number 7 Golf Tango, New Braunfels, Tuesday 11, 12 o'clock at 15 miles, radar 7023. Taxiway Alpha between runway 927 and Hold Bay, runway 32 closed. Stenson VOR not monitored. Okay. Information Quebec. San Antonio approach, Cherokee 773 in November, has Quebec. Number three, November right. SSF. What's up? Seven seven three. That number always... traffic currently about four miles south of your position, northbound. Out to indicate four thousand five hundred. Roger, I'll be looking. 773 November, thank you. We're also probably going to start our initial descent soon, so let's do a quick check-in. Obviously, this video has been a little bit different, but I think it's been really fun. It's been fun to like kind of show you and be able to talk about all the things that I love, obviously, to talk about. Oh. Our cylinder head temperature is 378 degrees. RPMs are still at about 2600. We're now burning 11 gallons of fuel per hour. I think the winds are affecting that a little bit, so I'm glad we're going to be getting on the ground here soon. All gauges are in the green, and here in about six minutes or less, we will be switching fuel tanks so that we land with the fullest tank. Questions, comments, concerns? No, you did so good, though. It well, is so impressive you. seeing you in your... Element. What do you call it? Yeah, that's <laughs> what I was like. There's a word for it. I like this, though. In your what air bag. Yeah. I love it. Exactly. Well, I'm glad that we got to do this. And the fun thing is, is we're going to do it again tomorrow to get home. Darn right we are. Unless I scare her too badly and she jumps in an Uber and says, See ya! <laughs> I'm driving. <laughs> no, it's been fun. It's been real. It's been real fun. I'm glad. <laughs> so we have 27 minutes until we should be on the ground. So roughly 30 because it's always a little bit longer than they actually say. Yeah. Seven seven three yeah. November traffic no factor. I'm gonna leave you at six thousand for a while. I got uh, multiple VFR targets en route to a uh, but they all appear to be low level. And I just want to verify you want uh, the visual approach to uh, Stenson full stop. Affirmative for seven seven three eight November. Roger. <laughs> that was a lot of information, and I agree with all of it. So we're going with affirmative that time. So here you can see we've been level of six thousand feet, right? If we were flying VFR, the visual flight rules rules, we would have to be at six thousand five hundred. So whatever your altitude is that you're flying, if you're VFR, you're 500. If you are IFR, you're at that thousand. Oh, so, so they 5, can 000, tell 6, 000, who's who. 7,000. And then it's all based off of the direction you're flying. So oh. if you're on heading 0 through 179, then you're going to be odd for, v, uh, for IFR. So 5,000, 7,000, 9,000. If you're VFR, 5,500, 7,500. And that just gives us enough separation. With IFR, it's a little bit different because we are talking to air traffic control. Now, if we were through heading 180 through 359, then we would be even. I did not like that bump. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was going to keep her distracted. I've done a pretty good job, though. Yeah, I feel like you have hit me a little bit where I'm like, whoa. <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> so, information overload. But yeah, very interesting. That's kind of how all that works. You're very wise. I haven't done an accent in a whole minute. Let me do an accent real quick. Oh, oh, he got a switch screen too. <laughs> Not planned. Not planned. <laughs> Any and all of Ali's reactions today were 100% in the moment. 
and hopefully, you know, with all of those turbulent bumps that we hit earlier, you didn't make too many funny faces. I'm over here, like, breathing deep through, in through my <laughs> nose, out through my mouth. He's like, so this is what we're doing now, and I'm like, please. <laughs> She's like, just get me back on the ground. No, I had a much better time, honestly, than I was expecting. I thought it was going to be a little more, I don't know, in my head about it, but yeah. It's been so freaking cool. 3-8 November, okay. flight heading number 1-8 zero, you. descend and maintain 4,000. 1-8-0, descend maintain 4,000, 7 in November. If you reach 4,000, proceed back to the Stinson VOR. Upon reaching 4,000, I will proceed back to Stinson VOR, 773 in November, thank you. Cool. We are totally good. So that loud beeping sound once again indicates that we are 1,000 feet away from our selected altitude, which in this case is 4,000. And as soon as we get down to 4,000 feet, we are going to go direct back to that VOR, which is Sierra Sierra Foxtrot. See if I still know how to land. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was fun. A good time to tell me. Hold on a second. 11 o'clock, 3 miles westbound, I'll take 6,500. Roger, looking for traffic, 773 in November. Good afternoon, approach Turkey, 773 in November, checking in, 4,000. Hey, 773 in November, Santa Antonio approach, welcome to Santa Maintain 3,000. Santa Maintain 3,000, 3 in November. All right, so we have about 11 minutes or so, 19 nautical miles until we get to our destination. RPMs, I'm keeping it around 24 to 2,500. We're burning 10 gallons of fuel per hour. CHT is 355, so that's looking fantastic. Indicated airspeed is 120, ground speed is 115, so a little wind affecting us, but it's not really that bad. Doesn't seem like it's going to be super busy at the airport, so once we get the field in sight, we should be able to be on the ground pretty quickly. And I had a lot of fun, so hopefully you did too. And if you did, don't forget to smash that like button, hit subscribe so you never miss a video. And if you want to see what we did after we landed, then make sure you check out my other channel, Kay's Great Getaway. We are direct to Stinson. I'll advise as soon as I get the field in sight. 773 in November, thank you. Roger, 773 in November, I've got the field in sight. 73 in November is cleared visual approach Stinson Airport. Contact Stinson Tower and have a good day. Over to Tower and cleared for the visual. You too, 773 in November, thanks. that field yeah if you see right in front of us here i just wanted to make sure that was it i'm gonna make that call hold on one second okay number one runway one four cap 4245 good afternoon stenson cherokee 773 in november is checking in November 773, November Simpson Tower, good afternoon, enter uh, left uh, base for runway 14, altimeter 3010. You said enter a left base for runway 14? Number 3, November affirmative, left base for runway 14. Roger, enter a left base, runway 14, 773, November. Runway 14, one 170, at August 18, cleared to land. Runway 14, cleared to land, thank you for the wind check, 773, November. This is where I am going to ask you. Uh, Shut up. Okay. No, you can talk to yourself. Just don't talk to me. <laughs> I'll do this. There we go. Okay. Electric fuel pump, landing light, rotating beacon on, pitot heat, carb heat off, mixture's full rich, primer is in and locked. Within that wide arc, first notch, it flaps 10 degrees. Field is in sight. Wind check was good. And here is our left base. Now we'll keep losing that altitude. Nice and easy. Again, remember, it might get a little bumpy down here, but we are good, okay? Okay, I was going to say, you can say something if I say something to you. Just no chit-chat. All right, so we're officially on that left base here. Second notch, 25 degrees. Keep losing that altitude. We're going to have a little bit of wind when we come in here. Final's clear. Looks like runway's clear. feet until we reach our selected altitude which is traffic pattern 1600 these winds do not want to let us descend nice and easy Turn 
Trap Flex for 11 o'clock as a turkey turning the left base for a final line of 141,400. Uh, copy that, got him inside, will we remain uh, clear from trouble. Tour Roger, make 10 visual separation. We'll maintain visual, tour 1. Turkey 3 in November, traffic uh, to your left is a tour helicopter, they have you inside, maintain a visual, they're northbound. Roger, I've got the chopper inside as well, I'll maintain visual separation, 773 in November, thank you. Bring it a little bit more power now. Coming down, all gauges are in the green. There we go. That was the smoothest landing <laughs> I have ever experienced. Fable will turn right onto runway 27, right at Bravo. Contact ground off point seven. Right onto runway 27 and then right at Bravo and then I'll contact ground. 773 November, thank you. Okay, this looks pretty good. All right, awesome. BFR, turn everything off and we made it. You did so good. Don't wow. forget to subscribe. Bye guys. Bye.